Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into this latest climate update. Here we are in February 2021. We are more than halfway through our water year 2020-2021, so I wanted to provide you with an update. Right now, the drought situation is quite extensive across the Inner Mountain West and the Four Corners region, expanding into California. And we've seen some increase due to significant deficits here in Southern California. What's the weather pattern been? Well, upper level high pressure, not a normal position as you can see in the bright red. This is an average over the past several months or the water year since October 1st. And it's been positioned over the Northern and Eastern Pacific blocking our storm track and all the storms have been forced to go up and over and then down into the center part of the United States. This is a method for producing Santa Ana winds and it also is a method for bringing down cold air at times. But overall, it's a dry pattern, not a favorable precipitation pattern for California. We've also been seeing La Nina persistent across the equatorial Pacific Ocean as shown here. La Nina is the cooler than average sea surface temperatures in the equatorial Pacific Ocean. And this has been persistent since the summertime and it's peaked out this fall across the equatorial Pacific Ocean. La Nina can be seen here on the sea surface temperatures compared to average. It shows up cooler than average across the equatorial Pacific Ocean over a pretty broad area. Now much of the Pacific, the central and parts of the northern remain warmer than average. And this has been going on for several years now across especially the eastern Pacific underneath that upper level ridge of high pressure I showed you earlier. Now typically La Nina does also force the jet stream to go further to our north as we've been seeing. Here's a closer look at precipitation percent of average for February 2021. You can see the bright red we are much below average, very dry month of February for the southern two thirds of California, especially Southern California. Normally February for much of the state is the wettest month. Now compared to average since the water year, you can see also all of California is in the red shading. Most areas are less than 70% and in cases of Southern California, we have a large area of under 50% of average precipitation. This is for the water year 2020-2021. Here are some specific numbers you may be interested in. You can see San Diego deficit is around four inches and dropping rapidly through February because February is a very wet, one of the wettest months on average. But other areas such as Santa Ana, Ontario, even in the desert and Palm Springs, significantly below average deficit. And even our critical mountain areas are now approaching seven to 10 inches below average as shown here for the water year to date. It's also important to look at temperatures during the water year. This can affect snowpack and other vegetation and soil moisture. Since October, temperatures have been much above average, especially across our mountain areas here in Southern California, due to the lack of storms in our region. Now the snowpack in California isn't dismal, but it is sitting at about 50 to 70% of average. This is a source of a lot of our runoff and water supply across the state as we go into the spring and early summer. We did see significant precipitation in late January, which allowed this to bump up notably. Now, if you look at different parts of the Sierra Nevada, you can see the water content of the snow. Well, in most cases, it's running well below average as shown here. And for the average percent through April, you can see it's under 50% of where it should be. So April 1st is on average the deepest snowpack and water content. So we have a long ways to go and we do have the month of March that can help make up for some of this. Speaking of March and the outlook, 
as we look into March, it looks like there's going to be a shift in the weather pattern as we're starting to see now in February. And this will bring colder air or below average air to the west and even into California as the storm track shifts across the Pacific Northwest and dips a little bit into California as shown here. It's not a wet weather pattern, but it does bring the chance of precipitation across Southern California at times and overall cooler than average conditions for the first week of March. Now, when we look for the rest of March 2021, we can see the prediction is for a better chance for drier than average in Southern California, but we have equal chances for Northern California. So March is still a critical month for precipitation and snowpack, and we can make up for some of those deficits I just showed you for February. It also indicates March being cooler than average across the Pacific Northwest, but warmer for much of the nation. You can see that cooler than average will be associated with potential for persistent upper level storminess across the Pacific Northwest and Northern California. Here's the latest information from the Climate Prediction Center linked in the middle of your screen here. You can also tune in to weather.gov San Diego and follow us on social media, Facebook and Twitter, where we provide real time weather updates. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Stay safe.